Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about types of lambdas expressions. Mainly, we have four types of lambda expressions according to method structure. The first one is parameterized lambda expressions, non parameterized lambda expressions, written type lambda expressions or simply written type means what here non void lambda expressions and void lambda expressions parameterized lambdas non parameterized lambdas non void lambdas and void lambdas again again observe here we can we can write like this void with parameterized void with non parameterized non void with parameterized non void with non parameterized so like this we have different types of lambda expressions first let me go with void with non parameterized void with non parameterized lambdas let me create at the rate of let me create one functional interface at the rate of functional interface here, here i have a interface interface i and here i have a method public abstract void m1 method now here i obj equal to system dot out dot println void and non param non param lambda void and non param lambda see here this lambda does not containing any parameters that is what I mentioned like non param is this lambda giving any written value no that is what I mentioned like what here void. So, this type of lambda we can called as void and non parameterized lambdas. So, simply if I am calling like obj dot obj dot m1 method obj dot m1 method what happened void and non parameterized will executing next one let me take one more functional interface that is what j and this is method like what m2 which having parameter like int x now how can i write implementation for this uh, m2 j obj1 equal to here i am writing like what here int x here i am writing like int x now here i am writing like system dot out dot print line system dot out dot print line here i'm printing like a x now observe here obj1 dot m2 of 100 so this lambda is what here parameterized lambdas this 100 will go and place it into basically this is a lambda which is replaced with what here m2 now here this 100 will go and place it into where x and after that we are printing the x value what is that 100 Sir, here we have a x. Is it mandatory to take x here? No, you can take what here? Any other variable also. Let me take here y. Let me take here also y. Now, same value 100 we will get. Now, one more. Most of the people feels like, see, here int x is not a mandatory. Int is not a mandatory. We can execute the program happily. Now, one more. Next one no need to write no need to write open and closed open and closed parenthesis also see happily the output will print that means we can write int y like this otherwise we can write only y and we can write what here y individually individual without to closing without to open and closed parenthesis when can we write like this means a method which contains only one argument in that scenario only we can write what without parenthesis a method which contains what a method which contains zero argument we can't write we, without writing this we will get error we will get error so if a method having exactly one param parameter in that particular time only we can write a variable directly without using parenthesis next one is let me take one more interface k that is what here 
m3 that is m3 now which is going to returns int and which does not having what here parameter. So, let us observe here k obj2 equal to I am providing lambda what is that return 2 3 4 5 return 2 3 4 5 carefully observe here this one this obj2 this uh, lambda will replace it with m3 m3 ok m3 not not holding any parameter so we are not passing any value and but it will return it is going to return what here int value that is what I return what here into 2 3 5. Let us check whether that lambda is giving return value or not how obj2 dot m3 now you will get the output we will get the output like what here 2 3 4 5. So, this is what this is what void with non parameterized this is void with parameterized and this is non void with non parameterized one more thing non void with parameterized how can i write that one very simple copy this code let me write here in the place of k i am writing like l now this is what here 4 let me take here string x so now i am going to write non void and parameterized non void and parameterized how can i write l obj3 equal to now here i am written i am written see this is the parameterized definitely we need to take one variable x now here x is what type string type so in the string there is a method like there is a method like length now returns what your length of the string it returns length of the string nothing but numeric into type input is what here x which allows what here string now system dot out dot print ln obj3 dot m4 of ram chandra ram chandra so what is the length here very simple 10 it will showing 3 6 and 10 so here very simple guys observe here i am writing like ram chandra yeah this ram chandra will go and place it into where x now this x will replace it with the ram chandra and ram chandra dot length nothing but 10 so the 10 will it will returns that obj3 dot m4 of ram chandra will replace it with what here 10 so like this we have four types of lambdas this is what here void with non param this is with this is what void with param and this is what non void non void and non param and this is what non void with param so like this we have different types of uh, lambda expressions we can also called as lam argument uh, lambdas non argument lambdas or zero argument lambdas so we can different different terminologies we have but main terminology i am writing like here parameterized lambdas and non parameterized as well as void and non void and combinations these are the different types of lambda expressions i hope you understand this video for more videos please subscribe naresh channel thank you